Okay, in this video, I will be showing you this rocket stove that I made. And I just used three soup cans, a giant one, a medium one, and a regular sized one. And I've already got it loaded up. I have some leaves and a paper towel at the bottom and some sticks in the top. And so I'll go ahead and put some sticks into my inlet so I'll start going. And for ease of lighting, I will just use a torch. Oh, great. <clears throat> oh, well. Dang it. Okay, then. Well... Okay, got it relit. And hopefully it'll start this time. Hopefully this video isn't getting too lengthy. Whoa, sorry. I was trying to get the camera off with one hand. Just to make sure it's going good, I'll keep that in there. A bit longer. Oh, that should be good. Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> so I've basically got it separated out. Um there's the air intake, and above is where you put the sticks in, and the air intake's kind of clogged, so, there. And then, continue feeding in my sticks. I saw this off of a tutorial, how to build this off of a tutorial, and when I can, when I find what that video was called, then I will put it in the description, so if it's not in the description when you see it, it will eventually get there. But this is fairly easy to make. And it's kind of rusted since I've had this sitting out here for about half a year. But once it gets going, it produces a nice big flame. And it's just made from a few soup cans and sand in between for insulation. And these little ridges I've cut there are so that when there are no sticks sticking out the top to start it, once those kind of burn down, then you can stick a pan on top of it um, to cook food. Well, it's not too light, but it's not really for, wouldn't be great for camping or anything if you're backpacking. But I mean, if you're just want to go and have some fun in your backyard, then this would be a neat little thing to try out. There, get a top view and hopefully not melt the lens of the camera. And I'll get another view right there. It's quite hot. Fire. And so the coals will basically go down there. And when you put feed your sticks in above here, then the coals will go and keep it those lit up. And the air flows in right down there, feeding the coals and the flames and the sticks from the very bottom. So, it's a neat little stove. 
really easy to make. <coughs> and I'm going to end off the video here.